welcome to a brand new little kind of channel update. In this little update we will be showing you a few brand new features of the community as along with kind of my community that I'm trying to build. Some new features to help us along the way and I'm pretty sure you guys will be pretty stuck for what I've been uh, working on over the last few weeks. Um, so yeah, to, to kick things off, what you guys see there, the LSMS PDRP, the Livestream Content Creator Community Director slash Owner, with my YouTube link and another link there which I will be showcasing very shortly. The LSMS PD logo and badge, well, police badge here to the side, that is our logo for the GTA 5M uh, mod kind of community that we're running the servers that we've got that's the logo we're running so without any further ado as always thank you all so much for joining me today we're going to be looking at some new features and hopefully you guys are going to absolutely love these features that we've got some uh, some nice little eye candy i think so without any further ado guys sit back enjoy and as always hit that like button here we go So, as you guys can see, we have a website. So yes, let me be the first. Welcome to our brand new website. It's called the Maxstallion YT Community Site. All the links will be left in the video description below. Uh, it would be absolutely fantastic if you guys could go over there and uh, go and check it out. Let me know what you guys think to it as well. So I'm just going to have a quick brief run through of what the site is and kind of what it is that the site's all about. And yeah, let's get into it. So as you guys can see, it's the Max Stallion YT community. That's what we've called the community. That's what my community has always been. But we have kind of gone away from the, the whole farming simulator kind of side of things. And we've moved to more of a mature kind of game not saying that farming simulator is bad or anything else it was just a little bit monotonous for me and the guys it was boring and same thing every day so we decided well let's try and do something a bit more realistic and we heard about the 5m mods um that pretty much takes the single player gta 5 and turns it into a multiplayer obviously everything that you used to get the game to run on the servers and everything like that it's all like scripts that people have made custom scripts that i've done myself little little tweaks and everything else like that along the way but we're kind of going off track here so basically this is the front page of the brand new the max stallion community yt community website it says join our gta 5 roleplay community with a nice little uh, background here a little video playing in the background and a couple of little buttons there, which we will go into detail shortly. So basically, this is what we offer at the LSMSP, LSMSPDRP. Bit of a tongue twister, but we'll get there. Um, it's pretty easy to use the whole thing in general. You know, we don't really have anything that you need to that you need apart from Steam and a legitimate copy of GTA 5. That's it. Everything else is server-sided. You don't need any scripts, mods, anything like that. We've got your back. Our Discord server that we run, it's pretty in-depth with all the uh, the channels and the text channels and the voice channels and everything. But guys, please don't let that put you off. There's a good reason why they're all in those places and it's set out the way it is. It's all to make it more enjoyable and more user-friendly. So don't let that put you off when you first join. The servers that we run are up pretty much 99% of the time. We do try and do a daily server restart just to kind of keep things going properly and everything else like that. Um, and obviously, you know, we have a friendly uh, tech staff who's willing to help you guys uh, with any problems that you may have. The active staff members, again, uh, you know, we, we pride ourselves in the team that we have. And it's very important that the team that we've got supporting you guys is some of the best out there. So keep that in mind. We're always there to help you. The slot size of the servers that we run are 32 slots. So it is maximum size. So 32 players at once have plenty police, plenty everything. 
And then also we run a time sync uh, resource on the server itself to kind of give everyone a uh, like an like so there's no unfair advantage you could say pretty much what it says there. Um, and then down a little bit more, you've got the command center for Discord with a link that will take you to the login page or the register page for the, the, the Discord. Then scrolling down a little bit more, we've just got a little message here from myself. Uh, here at LSMS PDRP, we take the role play very seriously. We are, t we are trying to be one of the best out there, and that's why we need your help. If you're looking to become a police officer or just join as a civilian, LSMS PDRP is for you. We offer many jobs of which some are legal and others are not so legal. But, you know, that's just how GTA goes. Uh, and something else that we are really proud of is the open CAD slash MDT system that we are running alongside the game. I will go into a bit more detail about that when we get to it. It just makes it more realistic for the for the police force and, you know, everything else. It, you'll see what I mean later on when we start doing live streams as police. You'll, you'll kind of see what I mean. Uh, and basically, yeah, we, we're just inviting you guys to, you know, if you've got GTA 5, go get the 5M mod download it install it and come and come and play with us on the servers you know it's it's free it doesn't cost you anything um the only costs that are involved which we will go over later on is uh patreon but you know again that's something that we will discuss in a minute uh, and one thing that i must stress and i can't stress enough guys is lsms rpd uh, PDRP, should I say rather, we are no way affiliated with the US Department of Justice or any other law enforcement or government agencies. So we just do this for role play purpose only and it is completely for fun, guys. We take, you know, we, we have a lot of rules in place. We have a lot of, um, you know, strict strict admin members online to make sure everything's kept as good as it can be uh, as you can see from the screenshots here these are just a couple of the screenshots from in the game that's the garage system that we've got with a couple of my cars that's my character um a nice gtr nismo some police vehicles another police vehicle and so on so that's the front page so if we then go to the departments if you just hover over it you get the drop down and it gives you the different departments that you can apply for. But if you click on departments itself, it will load another nice little page for the LS MSPDRP departments. And here, again, it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's like that, except you can physically, physically see what you want to apply for. So you've got the police, police subdivisions, uh, fire and EMS, like communications, so dispatch and those kinds of things, and then your civilian operations. Um, you can click on the info to get to take you to the relative department page which you can take a read through it gives you just about everything you need to know there with a apply button at the bottom which you can click on and it will take you to a google doc which you can fill in and it will get sent off to us at the department um and it's like that for them all um civilian is a little bit different however uh, the civilian one is kind of, we're still trying to kind of get our minds around it at the moment as to how we can kind of do that. We might just have an application form for that. But at the moment, anybody is free to join the server whenever they wish. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So as you can see here, this is a civilian operations. Head of our civilian operations is Lewis um, or Jin Zhao, as he's known as as well. Um, he's kind of like the one that's in charge of all the civilian operations. If we need civilians for live streams or videos or things like that, we will get in touch with Lewis and Lewis will obviously then go forward and communicate with the civilians. Um, there's different rewards for the civilians. I'm not 100% sure about all of that. If you guys are more interested in the civilian side, I suggest you go and pull on Lewis's ear and uh, give him an ear bending with all your questions. Uh, and again guys one thing that we really really do like as one of the big features of the server is the fact that you have all these jobs some of these jobs are white listed and some of the jobs are not so the white listed jobs like traffic officer park ranger fire police ambulance those kinds of things 
those are jobs which you have to apply for like we've just discussed before but if you're only wanting to play as a civilian then you've got a lot of jobs to choose from believe me you can be busy for a long time so that's pretty much the department page now the next one on is the CAD slash MDT system so this is something that is crucial for the police force and uh, dispatch as well as the civilians because you can use the CAD to um, control all your civilians and like your characters so you make your you will obviously read through that it tells you I'm not going to read through it you guys can do that it tells you all about the CAD what it offers if you click that one it will open the register page where you can kind of choose what you wish to uh, apply for but obviously if um, we don't want you to apply for something then you will not have that on your uh, on your your CAD login um, but again we're using an open an open CAD um, from a development team called Stormlight Tech um, if you guys wish to go and show them some support you guys can click on the link below there this this here if you click on that it will take you to their website it is a free it's free to utilize it's pretty much customizable if you know what you're doing um, they've just had an update that's just been released so a few extra features which is fantastic great job on that one stormlight tech thank you all so much for uh, giving us something that a lot of people charge some money for so the next one we will click on is the about button this is pretty much just a little kind of glance at what we are you know we want to try to be the best out there uh, but we obviously need your help to do that uh, and then you guys can follow me personally max stallion yt at the different links below um i haven't put my patreon on there because you will see this in a second um and of, of course thank you in advance um if you were wondering what the command center our discord command center kind of looks like this is a brief kind of little um insight as to what it looks like those are all the the different rooms that we've got for the game like your public lobbies your 911 operators all those kinds of things you'd have people dotted all over the place excuse me i just burped um and then obviously we've got a couple of bots we've got a couple of um custom bots which integrated with the discord it kind of integrates discord with the 5m that allows us to run certain commands um to take care of players that are, are making trouble or being a bit of a nuisance get a lot of reports that kind of thing we can actually deal with that without actually having to physically be on the server which i think is fantastic it's taken a bit of uh, coaxing to get to get to this point but we are there and this guys here is what we have now so the police force is pretty much at about 40 percent ambulance 20 fire 20 and the civilians is around 60 so we obviously want to try and get the police to 100 ambulance to 100 and those kinds of things like that but we'll see how it goes and if you click the the, the start now it will take you to the departments page you scroll all the way down you've got this this icon here that'll take you back to the home page you've got my little kind of note thing down there and again you've got three links here one to youtube twitch and facebook those are my facebook twitch and youtube links if you click the little arrow at the top it finds you back to the top the next page you want to go on is the frequently asked questions so this here guys is a a drop down list style menu for different questions that you know we we may be getting asked or you know if you've got a question and this happens to be one then you don't need to ask us the first one guys is and, and I'm, I'm going to say this one before we even get there this one is very important um now i'm not begging at all it's that's not the case here at all it's merely for support um or you know if you want to donate to us it's entirely up to you and i stress guys please only donate or support me on patreon if you can afford to do so it's it's something that you know i'm very very like strict about you know i i don't want to be the cause of you know someone possibly not having something for that that week or that month or something because they've donated to me you guys need to be able to afford to donate before you guys do it but again you know running all these servers the costs involved 
it is a it is a big weight on my shoulders because I pay for it out of my own pocket and I don't get any sort of money income from anybody now so it's it's all out of my pocket and obviously any money that is raised through donations or through the Patreon uh, pledges for every month, they will go straight back into the pay the cost of the servers, the cost of the upgrades to the servers, the costs of the web pages, the web well the websites, the web server, all those things, guys. They add up and cost money. Now, like I said before, I'm not asking you guys to do it. It's there for if you would like to or if you feel obligated to help us out then the links are there so you can click on it and it will give you a bit of a description of kind of where you guys can do it now the streamlabs one if you click on that that's just for a simple like paypal donation but the added feature with that one is the bonus rather is if you donate say five euros through that or five dollars or five pounds whatever the next time i have a live stream your name will appear on the live stream so that's pretty cool um and then obviously the one below it the patreon which we will click on because i'll take you across to that page it would put me in this page but anyway just ignore all this side stuff here that's my that's all my stuff because obviously i'm logged in but basically guys this is my patreon page i sat up last night and kind of created something um that to start with basically um here it kind of just gives you the goal that we're working towards um, I've posted a couple of little posts here and then over here the reward section now This is the important stuff now VIP one so one dollar a month now This is a reoccurring cost you guys need to remember that it's not a once-off cost It is reoccurring each month, but you can cancel it at any time So the one dollar if you have 5m this is another cool thing um, You will receive a pretty cool kind of um bot well not a bot but it's kind of like a, a role in discord where you guys will get your own like thing on the left the right hand side where you guys sit above everybody just to kind of show your my appreciation for you guys and plus like i said if you have 5m and you play on the server you will receive one hundred thousand uh dollars in game currency every month that you donate up well that you pledge and it pretty much goes on like that so two dollars you get two hundred thousand and the discord bits um four dollars you get that but you'll get four hundred thousand every month vip five you will get five hundred thousand the discord rolls and you will be given um like your own disc discord channel um with a chat group and a voice channel although you know just just bear in mind that this 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 may change i may only put that on for the 10 plus but we will see guys it's complete you know i'll let you know how we get on the vip 10 for 10 dollars a month will give you the rolls a million in game each month um uh, you'll be given your thing me uh, with the channels and the text and then also you will be able to um you know either join us for a live stream like be part of one of the live streams or one of the videos that we record with myself or with myself and the other guys vip 20 so 20 pounds 20 dollars will get you 2 million in game the others and then you will also get a, a mention uh monthly in the live stream or a recording and this is the good one guys the vip 50 plus this is the big one you'll get 5,000 in your account all the other cool stuff you will get access to the Patreon only LS MS PDRP live streams, which will probably be once a month. Um, you'll get monthly shout out on my Facebook page. You will also have your social media link of your choice. So it can be a Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, whichever one you want. Um, you will get that put onto my official website. So on the web page, I will make a page for all my Patreons and you guys will be there um with links to your whichever social media site you choose and then i will also add your youtube channel if you have one to your to my recommended channels list on youtube um you know just just on the side um and then basically you will also get the chance to hang out with me in my private voice channel um basically that's where all them the magic behind the scenes happen so not very many people have access to my my private kind of channel but yeah so that's the pledges guys it's nothing fantastic but it's something um they're, they're good if you if you play the game 
because you're going to get some money your way each month. So there's that. Um, how do I eat and drink? So basically, you press F2 and then using the arrow keys, um, like the inventory menu will pop up and you will select bread or water and then you basically enter on it and it'll say use. You click on it a few times until the little hunger in water bar kind of raises up enough to the point where you will... Um, you know, you'll you'll be you'll have enough food and enough mortar inside you to carry on. How do I apply to be part of any of the like? How do you apply for the departments again? That's in the departments and any of those ones there. Pretty pretty much self-explanatory. Access to the CAD that can be found on the CADs the CAD site the CAD page rather. Speed limits in the different areas on the map. Now this is a good one if you're you know if you're trying to figure out. You know what kind of speeds you're going to be able to go before you get pulled over um this is how i think it should be done and this is why i've put this in here nine times out of ten we'll go with the flow of the ai traffic so if they're doing if they're doing 70 70 uh, miles per hour hell i'll do 70 miles per hour police officer's not going to pull me over and the ai go past me that's how i see it um but obviously you know you judge it so if they start slowing down you guys slow down as well um but as a general rule of thumb, speed limits are in place to keep everybody safe at the end of the day. So in a built up residential area, 30, 35 miles per hour is generally acceptable. 50, 55 for your main roads and then your highway, 70 to 80, I think is what we're trying to aim for. Although 70, 75 would probably be the hard cap, but we'll see. And then uh, how can I be part of, you know, one of the videos that we do? Um, I'll let you guys read that. Um, this one here will basically just tell you what you need to be able to play. And then these are our terms and conditions uh, regarding the community and everything else. And then last but not least, guys, we have the contacts page. So here you can basically put all your details in here. So your name, your email address, what, uh, what the question is, and then your message and send it off. That's all you need to do. Or you can click on the icon here the support if you're part of the community if not the discord community that is if not you can still click that and it will take you directly into our ticket support system where you can leave a ticket and then one of the support team will get back to you within discord it may be a bit quicker than doing the whole email thing but you have a choice at least one last thing guys um here is the login page for the CAD. Uh, once you've been accepted, you will get break, brought to this page where you will use the email and the password that you uh, registered with. You'll log in. Now, depending, you won't see all of these, obviously. So say, for instance, you applied for, I don't know, just say civilian. So you will only see civilian. So civilian will be somewhere around here. So you'll click on that and that will take you to the civilian page. So here you can have so the identities would be a different characters you click on that you basically fill it all in deceased meaning are you dead no you're alive so you put no obviously uh the vehicles now the vehicles is cool because you can pretty much modify them you've got nearly every vehicle in the game in here um which is cool you've got color choices can even say whether the car's uh, stolen, wanted, or st uh, suspended registration, uh, the, regi the registering state, and the insurance as well. One down from that, you've got your weapons license, so any guns that you own, you pretty much put it in here. And also, there's a 911, so there, if you fill this in, it will automatically be sent to the dispatcher on the CAD, and he will get alerted, or she will be alerted, and then he or she can then, you know, point out the correct officers or um, ambulance staff or fire crew to the correct place. Um, what else do we have here? Um, not much really. I will kind of go back and show you this. So this is the police page. So as you guys can see, my, my call sign for the police is 1King29. Now all the, like the admin staff um here at the lsms uh, uh, pd we all run the one king um there's like, i think there's like a one king 19 there's a one king 
something like one king 21 or whatever i can't remember them all but i'm one king 29 um i just like the whole the one kings being like you know we're at the top the other the other departments will be like uh one sierra or one charlie or one lima so lima being the los santos department um one bravo in fact would be like the blaine county area and then one you know i don't know say pete one peter or one um whatever you want to call it that would be the Polito bay area um obviously i'm not 100 percent clued up with the whole police side of it because at the moment i'm been concentrating a lot on these the the cad which is also the lsmspdcad.site um so yeah, and another cool thing is when you're inside the GTA game or the GT the the five M game playing on our server, if you bring up your Steam overlay and you go to the web browser, you can actually access this card from within that Steam browser. So that's a massive plus for me because it means you don't have to alt tab out of the game and you lose your volume and everything else and whatnot. You just go into your Steam overlay and Bob's your uncle. You're all, you're good to go. Um. So dispatch, obviously when a police officer pulls somebody over, he's going to want to know who the car's read, like details for the car, the details for the person, if he's wanted, if he's got any arrest warrants, those kind of things. He would obviously just come along, he'd ask dispatch to look, dispatch would type the person's name in here, obviously there's no names at the moment because we've had to update. Um, and you would then get a full print out below here with all the details of the person if he's wanted or not or all those kind of his previous citations etc etc shame with the car you put the car number plate in push send it'll bring it up tell you all about the vehicle who owns it colors that kind of thing and again with the war uh, with the weapons you put the the person's name in and it'll bring up their weapons um whether they've got <coughs> excuse me whether they've got uh, licenses for their weapons um the dispatch side here um he needs to change that but uh yeah so that's the that's the cad and if you guys are wondering where you can get the links to all these if you go to the youtube my youtube channel which obviously you're watching this on um we've got the new banner which i was showing you earlier with the new website there's a link there to the website so that will take you directly to the new website, Facebook, the new Discord, so the LSMS PDRP Command Center. That's the link for that one. My Twitch. And here, guys, there's another link for the Patreon. It would be awesome if you guys could go and support me and the community, um, help us out a bit, you know, help us get the ball rolling properly. And, you know, I can promise you guys that we'll get there and we'll start banging out some decent, decent content. Um, but you got like I said before, it's just been a lot of work to try and get us to this point um, But we are there now everything is done um, But yeah, let me just click on the donate to uh, slash patreon you get this page here Where obviously you guys can click on either that logo or this logo here So yes another cool thing about our web page and again it is completely 100% mobile friendly so if you guys want to go check the check it out on your mobile phone you can do it's all there it's gonna work everything's there but coming back to the support us page this is the one for the the steam lab so the paypal kind of link and then that's the patreon again the patreon is a reoccurring monthly cost whereas the paypal is a once-off donation um and again if you guys do decide to help us out all I can say is thank you so much. It, you know, we greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Whichever, you know, whichever one you decide to, to support us with. Um, but again, the Patreon would probably be the best one because we kind of give you something back for your support. Um, but yes, guys, I've I've gone on long enough now. Um, heck, we've been going for nearly half an hour, I reckon. But yes, guys, sorry about the whole kind of slow going episode here but i just wanted to showcase with you guys the fantastic the brand new max stallion yt community website which is now up and running for every single one of you guys to go and have a look at and please 
log on to the Discord and let me know what you guys think of the new website. Let me know if there's any changes that you guys think I should put in. Is you know, do you guys maybe have any um, screenshots that you want me to put in there from your experiences on the 5M server or our 5M server? You know, these kind of things, guys. Get involved. Let us know. It would be awesome to know what you guys think. But again, guys, as always, thank you so very much for watching. I think we're going to probably end it here now. Um, as we're just flying over the uh, the beautiful, I think that's the uh, Golden Gate Bridge, I believe. I might be wrong, but it looks like it. But on that one, guys, thank you so much for spending the last half an hour uh, having a look at our brand new community and all the features that we will be offering. But again, guys, until next time, it's been an absolute pleasure. Take it easy. Thank you for your time. And we will see you in the next episode.